my viewers who are celebrating this holy month um, welcome back to my channel I know I've been away for a very long time most of you who follow me on Instagram and snapchat you probably know that I was away for a short holiday um, trip to London and I'm back now this is my first makeup tutorial since I've been back and it's actually a Ramadan inspired bit of a more of a heavy glam kind of a makeup tutorial for those who want to glam up for any iftar parties they're going to be attending during this month I will be doing more um, better kind of uh, natural kind of makeup looks um, during the month of Ramadan so stay tuned for that um, showing you my London haul and also another luxury haul is going to be coming out very soon so stay tuned for that but right, guys my battery is going to run out so I'm going to end this introduction right here if you're watching me for the first time thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail do not forget to hit on the subscribe button which should be my face towards the end of the video and also don't forget to click on the notifications button that way you will be notified every time I upload a new video you can follow me on Instagram snapchat and Facebook all the links are down below I regularly update my blog which is the beautyclass.com all the products that i've used in today's tutorial will be listed down below as well so without any further ado guys let's begin with this tutorial okay you guys let's kick start this tutorial by doing our face and i'm going to prime our face with my Versace rose gold elixir oil um, by dropping it on my Eloy's face brush and i'm just gonna put it all over my face um, and next I'm gonna start uh, with my foundation and I'm actually gonna be trying this new foundation that I've been really dying to try for the longest time and I was really um, excited to pick it up um, in my recent trip to IMAT and it's from Milani it's a Conceit and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and I've got the shade 02 natural and to be honest I love this foundation the finish is beautiful it really stayed put and it did not oxidize although a lot of people say it does oxidize but I really really like the finish it does give a little bit of a matte kind of a semi matte kind of a finish um, next I'm going with highlighting and concealing my face and I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light side and I'm just blending that in with my 3D HD um, blender from Sigma Beauty um, and I'm um, just blending that in Moving on, I'm sure a lot of you love to see this bit. I'm opening up my new lip palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, and I've had this for a very long time. Honestly, I was just not getting the chance to use it. And I'm using this brown lip color to actually contour my face. Um, I've seen a lot of people use these colors to actually use this on their face uh, for contouring, for blush, uh, even for foundation. And to be honest, I loved it. Um, I think these colors are very versatile and I've just applied it with this toothbrush kind of a brush that I have um, and I'm just gonna blend it with my same 3d blender from Sigma Beauty um, and uh, the color worked perfectly it was a brown shade um, which is on the far left on the second lane of the second lane 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 is that even correct uh, from the second line of the lip palette um, and I'm gonna also contour my uh, my nose. I have to be honest, I was a little nervous whilst doing this, but honestly, the I think the contour came out perfectly. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and bake my face using my favorite Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, once again, using the same 3 blender from Sigma Beauty. And excuse my lighting and um, the way my camera is going to be moving um, a bit. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get it right. I was just back from holiday and honestly, I was a bit struggling. Um, but I will get it right, I promise. I'm just going to go ahead and just bronze and contour my face with my favorite Hula bronzer from Benefit Cosmetics. Honestly, I love this bronzer and I love this contour brush that comes with it. Honestly, it's so tiny but yet so perfect and it's really high quality. Next, we're just going to brush off all the baking that we've done before moving on to highlighting uh, our face. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my favorite highlighting palette at the moment, which is my Huda Beauty 3D highlighter. And I'm just going to use the cream highlighter um, to prep my cheeks. And then I'm going to set it with the Azores color, which is the golden um, champagne color um, in the palette. And then I'm just going to mix a tad bit of it uh, with Santorini just to give a bit of a pop. These highlighting palettes are the bomb.com. Once you set these in place, they are going nowhere. They really stay put 
all day long i highly recommend it they're amazing next i'm gonna go ahead with my makeup geek blush in bliss honestly i just wanted a little bit of a pop on the cheeks and nothing too dramatic just a bit of a flush and this is a beautiful blissful color uh, next i'm gonna go ahead and use my gimme brow not my gimme brow my goof boo brow pencil from benefit um cosmetics um and this is the number five um and i'm just gonna do my brows very quickly uh before moving on to our eyes okay let's begin with our eyes and this is my sigma gel eyeliner in brown i can't remember the name i will list it down below i've been using this a ton i love it um and i'm just using the stippler brush stippling stippling brush from real techniques it comes in a set these brushes from real techniques are beautiful and be very careful when you're using a gel eyeliner as a as a base um do one eye at a time don't do what i'm doing honestly i like to do it the hard way um it's not the best way always but you know me i tend to always do the hard way um so go one eye at a time and i'm taking it really high up in the crease because i want it really blown out on the outer crease for this arabic kind of a ramadan iftar uh, inspired makeup look and then i'm just gonna go ahead and do the same on our lower lash line we're just setting the base over here before we move on to our eyeshadows um but you take your time when doing this uh, don't be in a rush um and yeah make sure you blend out any um harsh lines next i'm gonna go ahead and use my huda beauty um textured eyeshadow palette and i'm using the color coco use any dark brown eyeshadow and i'm using this morphe 506 brush use any small detailing brush and i'm just setting the outer v um of our eyes um and as you can see i'm just keeping the uh, the color intensity on the outer corner over here we're not blending it at the moment i'm just setting what we've done before um, and we're just gonna go ahead and blend it in a minute over here um, and I'm gonna do the same thing in my lower lash line I'm just taking a flat definer brush this one is from Sigma and I'm taking the same cocoa color from Huda Beauty um, and I'm just pushing it on my lower lash line next I'm gonna go ahead with the henna color take any warm color you can take any other color that you may have in your kit and this is the time when you start blending take your um, Sigma E25 or your Morphe 4441 brush or your um, MAC 217 and just start blending it um, in your crease um, once again keeping the intensity on the outer um, corners because that's where you want the intensity with this kind of makeup look or basically what I was trying to achieve um, yesterday when I was doing this look um, yeah just try to uh, keep the intensity outside but obviously go back and forth in the initial white motion and over here I'm just going back with the same um, uh, Morphe 506 brush with the cocoa color just intensifying the cocoa shade on the outer V once again whatever we blended and then I'm gonna go back with the 217 brush or actually I was using the um, the E25 brush from Sigma here uh, I'm kind of confused but I hope I'm not confusing you guys uh, next I'm going to pick up the sandalwood color which is a lighter color and a more fluffier brush and we're just going to go ahead and um, brush out or blend out any outer corner or your or your upper crease or your transition upper crease upper crease or your transition this bloody video is going too fast for my liking um, and just blend out any, uh, any harsh lines with that um, and as you can see over here, I'm just going back and forth and seeing wherever I feel, you know, I am lacking intensity or wherever I feel like, you know, it needs to be blended. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color Bossy and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, blend my lower lash line with that. Um, and to be honest, I kept on picking different colors um, and um, kept on blending my lower lash line. I went back and forth Bossy, Henna and even Coco. So I kind of went back and forth with these colors and uh, yeah, that's basically what you need to do. Next what we're going to do is we're going to take any concealer. I was taking my same um, shape tape concealer from uh, Tarte Cosmetics and I was just cleaning out my inner corner. And we're going to top that with the matte white shadow from the same Huda Beauty textured eyeshadow palette. And what that's going to do is that's going to give that inner corner pop uh, at the same time keeping that look very neutral. 
moving on i'm gonna just use the same huda beauty highlighter palette and the highlighting color um i think santorini and place that right at the inner corner um of her eye once again just to highlight the inner corner i think there are too many inner corners in the sentence but you guys know what i mean and i'm gonna place the same santorini color on our brow bone as well and next we're going to move on and just put a wing eyeliner i'm using my favorite baby doll eyeliner from ysl you can use any eyeliner you want or you can completely skip an eyeliner to be honest i feel like if you're going for an arabic inspired makeup look definitely need a bold eyeliner next i'm going to move on to my favorite eyelashes this these are from iris beauty um and this is in the style cleopatra these are really bold eyelashes so if you're not into bold eyelashes then you probably want to go for a more natural eyelashes um, I'm gonna move on quickly to my lips and I'm using the same lip palette from Anastasia and I'm using the first lip color uh, which is a beautiful nude peachy um, color um, honestly I am in love with this shade um, this is a very matte actually I think most of the colors are very matte um, it applied beautifully it's very pigmented it's very comfortable um, and I'm just gonna take a tad bit of the white from the palette and I'm just gonna put that on the center of the lip just to give that ombre effect and to make my lips look filler honestly I'm so impressed with this palette I definitely a must-have and uh, that's it guys that's the complete look I'm just gonna add um, I'm just gonna complete the look with um, a hijab over here. I'm wearing a traditional black abaya um, just to give that Arabic kind of Ramadan feel over here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. Please feel free to leave some comments below. Don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. I love you guys. Bye bye.